Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. Yeah, it's been a while. I'm still alive. Kind of. Uh, I guess we get on to it. I, yeah, first of all, I'd like to say I hope you all had a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, whatever you celebrate. I hope it went well for you. It is January 7th now, and it's about 2 in the morning. Um, yeah, I, I can't sleep, so I figured I'll give you guys the update video. So, the garage might be looking a little different to some of you. It's pretty much done, and yeah. So what's been going on? Well, part of it is, just didn't feel like most of anything for a month, and then it kind of just went from there. I was busy at work, and a lot of stuff just, yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's get on to the garage update and tell you what's going to go on in the beginning months of this year. or. Hopefully, rather. Nothing is set in stone, but these are hopes. So let's turn the camera around. And I'll see you on the flip side. All right, so I'm walking into the garage now. I'm at the front door of the garage. Um, but don't mind the mess a little bit. It's not real, it's not terrible. There's a lot of wood here that I'm kind of working through that pile. It's taken a while, but it's, it's getting worked through. <laughs> And as you can see, I have my blinds up. I got the American Canadian flag and a naturally a Ford Power Stroke flag here. Now, I was gonna get blinds, but I was having a really difficult find time finding blinds reasonably priced. You wouldn't believe how much blinds are here. It's pretty ridiculous. Like, you guys, it was 80 bucks, 90 bucks a window. Like. I can't justify that for a garage. <laughs> okay, so the TV's on the wall. That was there from basically day one when I moved here. I put that up. That was the TV I had in the basement for years at the old house. And I got some pretty cool scores. Uh, that came from my grandma's. That one I found on Facebook. That Northwest Territories license plate. And the Holly Ignition Parts Box came up from up the road. I, uh, yeah, I couldn't pass it up. It was too cool. And yeah, really cool. I'm using it for electrical stuff, but uh, yeah, this is a herringbone pallet wood wall that I did, uh, partially because I like doing the woodwork, but I also don't like doing drywall taping. Now, if you'll notice, there's a lot of license plates in here. Uh, these are all Ontario on the front. And over here I have an Alberta, which came from a coworker. A, that came from my grandma's. That was on my uncle's car. That came from an estate sale. And a bunch of these, some of them were junkyard, some of them were from my grandma's like this one here was my grandma's plate on her 98 mercury mystique with the 2.5 liter v6 this was in here in the garage um i personally don't drink but because it was in here i kind of just left it uh it's a kind of a neat piece so it can stay <laughs> as we come over here uh my favorite car show berlin classic that poster there and that one there I got for all of 10 bucks and I figure well the the one over there was brand new in the package and I felt bad taking out of the package almost <laughs> but this one here I got for yeah I got them for 10 bucks and this one's from 1987 so that's pretty cool to see a 40 year old uh, poster in this good a shape it was like it was framed right away I picked that up at Motorama. That's another car show I really like. Only went one time. First time was last year. And there's a good story for this one. Um, 
So I saw it for years. Probably a year I saw this car wash closed. And my friend, actually, he had a shop right behind this wash bay. So I was familiar with the area and every time I was there, I'd see it. And I'd see this closed up car wash. Anyway, about four months ago, five months ago, the sign was off the wall and it was like, oh man, it's gone. It turns out it wasn't, it was in the car wash bay. So I went in the, uh, the store and I asked the, the clerk uh, who, if they were the owner and what's, what not, and if I could have it. I was willing to pay for it, but they said, just take it if you want it. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> now, there is a little bit of a damage point on it. I don't know how that got there, but it's okay. It's okay. Those were just from another car show, and <clears throat> got some pretty nice pieces to make some stuff out of. I had to make a sewing table out of one of them, but I do have to get them planed before I can do it because my little planer just does not have the the ability to do that. <laughs> anyway, over here, oh yeah, there's more Ontario plates up here. There's a Maine, Quebec on this one. And yeah, over here, there's some stories behind some of these. Uh, Wisconsin, Connecticut, Michigan. I th didn't realize I had Michigan, honestly. <clears throat> New York, that's an East Germany plate from what I've found. So that's pretty sweet, I like that. And all these Florida plates came from one person. My friend Eric, he has a YouTube channel, Eric's Variety Show. He went through the painstaking work of finding me plates at the junkyard. Thank you so much, I love it. And uh, he also found me, actually the person he was, his friend up there was a veteran and he gave me those two, Virginia, New York, Louisiana, South Carolina, Mississippi, that Connecticut, I think, and the Tennessee. But I actually scored a really cool one. North Carolina, you, this person I met, he, I, randomly, he had 10 North Carolina plates. He has way more. But Slow Wagon was one of them. And, well, I had to have them when I saw Slow Wagon. This one was pretty cool, too. The Save the Honeybees. And there's even more of them. But I also have all these. Now, the plan is, for these, I'm going to be making a um, plate map wall. I don't know if it's going to go in here or in the house. It's going to go somewhere. But, uh, yeah, I've trimmed out the windows. Now, the plan for here, as I've told you guys, was going to be Hot Wheels racks. That's, that's changing now because I've just kind of amassed too many to put there. So, yeah, new plan. <laughs> I'm going to, when I can, I'm going to collect up more of this pallet wood and I'm going to run it right up to the ceiling on both sides. And then... That'll be done there. I'll put some plates across the top and yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so future plans for this year. <clears throat> um, that stuff needs to be cleaned up soon. But if we look out the window, out the door here, the wagon is right there. And the wagon has been sitting for a better part of a year and a half for the most part <laughs> because it's been giving me issues. Now I have a goal. I want to get it in here, right here, and I want to fix it. There's a car show in July that I want to take it to, and I have some parts for it. I have a new shift boot, a new window switch, lock switch thing, uh, headlights and taillights. Uh, yeah, just a bunch of stuff for it that needs to go in it, finally, which I've had this stuff for a long time. I just never had a garage to do it. So, yeah, I know, I know, uh, but I just didn't really, there was no room on the driveway at the old house, so it never got done, and yeah, it has an oil leak now, which I believe 
I'm going to turn you guys around and we'll explain. So I believe the oil leak is quite possibly coming from the turbo feed line. And if you guys know, any, if anyone knows anything about turbo cars, um, <laughs> you don't want to run that with the turbo being starved of oil. That's a good way to wreck your turbo. So I'm going to get it in here and we're going to sort that out one of these days. Um, it's been really busy right now with other stuff and with Christmas break and whatever else. Haven't had much time with between everything else. So yeah, between that as well as there's some other videos I want to do and I want to get a project vehicle this year. If I can, I'm planning to do a trip at some point this year. So that might get in the way of that. I don't know. We'll try to figure that out. But anyway, um, if you guys want to send me stuff, let me know. I'm trying to collect up every state and province. Let me just put this here. So I'm trying to collect up every state and province of license plate. And once I finish that, I'm trying to get the uh, other places too, like Europe and stuff. So with that being said, if you guys want to send something, or an old cool sign, or a poster, or Hot Wheels, or whatever. I, I will be putting them out. Um, I plan on making sort of a collecting area in the basement. It's really, something really cool, to me at least. <laughs> um, and I would super appreciate it, actually. That'd be awesome. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and give you a bit of an update on what's been going on. Uh, yes, just work, work on the house, finishing up here in the garage. Yeah, that's about it. It hasn't really been much. Um, it's kind of expensive here in Canada, so going places is kind of sometimes not really in the question. Uh, I'm gonna be bringing the wagon in soon though, and we're gonna be working on that together, and we'll figure out together what is going on with it. I know it needs, uh, it needs a few things. <laughs> so, yeah, I have, I have some time though. We'll get to it. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you, enjoyed, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe for more, and share this video with your friend so that with your friends so that we can get these numbers up and maybe we'll get a project car going that way and we'll uh yeah we'll, we'll get that going anyways see ya have a great day everyone All right, so this is the view I get from the back wall of the garage. There's the door in. But uh, as you can see, I've <clears throat> got my blinds up on both windows now. Um, blinds for these windows are these windows are a very unusual size. So I just got flags for the blinds because, yeah. Anyways, so what's been going on lately has been Basically, not much, but a lot. A lot of work on the house, not a lot of work out here. So we got... Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. It's been a while, but I'm still alive. Um, a lot has happened since you've seen me last, but not a lot at the same time. Uh, we'll go over that quickly but I'm gonna show you as I'm doing it, what I've done to the garage now. It is, it's about done. I'm not really doing much more to it. So let's just turn the camera around and I'll show you what, it's ha what has happened.